Hi, my name is Nicole Leibert, and I'm presenting on the disorder Nymagen Breakage Syndrome for the G150 Structure and Function Course Project. Nymagen Breakage Syndrome, also known as NBS, is associated with one gene, Nibrin. Pictured here, Nibrin is a 4,639 base pair gene located on chromosome 8 and is mutated in nearly 100% of those affected with NBS. Nibrin translates into a 754 amino acid protein commonly called NBS1 or P95. The picture here shows the translated protein and the domains contained within it. These domains, colored in blue, purple, and yellow, are the areas of the protein that give it its functionality. For example, the two end domains, colored in yellow and light blue, are areas where Nibrin interact with other proteins to form a vital complex within the cell. MBN cellular function is vital for organism survival. The protein has three major functions, the repair of DNA, the regulation of cell division and growth, and the maintenance of telomeres. Most important of these being its role in preserving DNA. As seen in the picture on your right, Nibrin works with two other proteins, MRE11 and RAD50, to form a complex called MRN. Once joined, Nibrin acts as a transporter and takes the other proteins to the site of DNA damage. After the damage is located, the MRN complex activates an ATM kinase that is responsible for carrying out the remainder of the DNA repair. Because of the action of this complex, helping to prevent the accumulation of DNA errors, which could potentially lead to uncontrolled cell growth, Nibrin is considered a tumor suppressor protein. So what causes MBS? Mutations to the MBN gene. As you can see listed here, there are many different mutations that have been linked to the disease. However, the one highlighted in light blue, 657 deletion 5, is by far the most common. It is a deletion of five nucleotides in the sixth exon of the gene. Something that sounds so small actually has a huge effect on the protein during tr translation. The mutated gene is translated into two smaller fragmented proteins, the first being P26, the second, the piece containing the sites for protein interaction and formation of the MRN complex, is called P70. Though the P70 protein is not completely ineffective, it is expressed at much lower levels in the cell and is therefore not at the concentration required for normal cell function. The results of this is devastating to the persons affected. Because Nibrin is expressed in every cell of your body, Mutations to it leave everything susceptible. In these cells, NBS leads to unstable chromosomes, spontaneous rearrangements, abnormal cell cycle checkpoints, and sensitivity to DNA damaging agents such as radiation and chemotherapy. All of these issues increase the chances of accumulating DNA errors throughout the body. However, visibly, NBS is characterized by many different signs and symptoms, including progressive microcephaly, which is a condition of unusually small head size. It is typically apparent from birth, and growth of, the head, growth of the head seems to be out of sync with the body, and it appears as though the head is shrinking as the body grows. Intellectual disability isn't quite apparent until around one or two years old. At this time, developmental milestones and intellectual progress begins to decline. Distinctive facial features commonly seen in patients with MBS are described as bird-like and become more obvious with age. They typically include a sloping forehead, large ears, small jaw, prominent nose. Skin spots can be seen in the picture to the, the picture of the young girl on the bottom left. Cafe au lait spots are flat pigmented birthmarks that are very common, as well as conditions causing the loss of skin color and blotch-like patterns. Potential height in these individuals is never reached due to growth beginning at a slowed rate throughout infancy and childhood. Reincurrent infections are very common. Lowered levels of T and B cells along with specific proteins of the immune system lead to immunodeficiency and increased susceptibility to infections. Most commonly seen are respiratory infections. However, recurrent urinary tract and gastrointestinal infections are also seen. In females specifically, menstruation is commonly infrequent or absent altogether, resulting from premature ovarian failure, and therefore infertility is a common outcome. Lastly, cancer predisposition, although not an immediate sign, affects MBS patients, and they are 50 times more likely to develop cancer than those not affected by MBS. MBS is an inherited disorder. It is autosomal recessive, meaning that it requires both parents to pass on their mutated alleles to the offspring. As I had mentioned in the previous slide, those affected are typically infertile, therefore the disease is most always passed on from two unaffected carriers, shown here as the carrier parents. Each of these parents possess only one mutated MBN gene, and if they pass on both copies of that gene, it leaves, the child, it leaves them with a 25% chance to pass that on to their child, shown here in blue. 
MDS affects in 1 in 100,000 infants, yet it affects 1 in 177 people, causing them to be carriers of the disease. NBS is also known to have an increased incidence rate in Eastern European and Slavic populations. MBS can be both diagnosed and prevented using DNA analysis, just depending on when you use it. If used before birth on the mother and father of the child-to-be, it can be used to detect carriers of the disease and then be paired with IVF and genetic engineering to select embryos free of the mutation. If used after birth, DNA of the child in question is analyzed and looked at for mutations in the MBN gene. Immunoblotting can be used in those harder to diagnose cases. Once diagnosed, outlook is pretty poor. Typically, life expectancy varies, but does not extend past 30 or 40 years. Cancer, infections leading to renal and liver failure, failure and bone marrow aplasia are common causes of death. However, cancer is the main culprit. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, a cancer of the immune system cells, takes the lives of around half of those with MBS before the age of 15. Brain and, brain and muscle cancers are also seen in these individuals. No treatment for NBS exists, so we are left to treat the symptoms of the disease for the time being. This becomes quite difficult, however, when cancer is the main cause of death and these patients cannot withstand radiation therapies due to their chromosomal instability and sensitivity. So for future of MBS, we turn to looking at sister diseases or other diseases of DNA repair in hopes to find a cure. Ataxia telangiectasia, another extremely rare genetically recessive disorder, shares the most commonalities with MBS and possesses potential crossover for future treatments of both diseases. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed.